Everything you need to know about Toronto Beaches versus the Orangeville Northmen Game 1 in two minutes-ish. Chris Origlieri and Andrew Kidd both had spectacular games as their team's respective netminders. Both goaltenders made massive stops throughout the game. Check out this full length of the floor pass from Andrew Kidd. Absolutely nutty. They don't score, but still. Wow. The Toronto Beaches need to do a better job getting their hands on Orangeville shooters. You give these guys time and room, they're going to score. Check out this sliding goal. Call of Duty style. Absolutely insane. Toronto has to get to hands. Conversely, Toronto only found success when they were able to get over top and get shots while going across a Rigliari or from the middle. If I'm Toronto's coaches, I'm telling them get over top and get to the middle every single time. Do not settle for alley shots. On top of this, the Toronto Beaches power play was, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, absolutely brutal. They went 1 for 7 on the night and also gave up two short-handed goals, including this one, which basically iced the game and put it out of reach, in my opinion. The game was pretty chippy throughout the night. There were a couple scrums, as you would expect in playoff lacrosse, but I also thought the refing was brutal. Uh, look at this scrum here. Somehow Orangeville only comes out with two penalties here and Beaches don't get anything. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And then check out this play, somehow Palmer gets a penalty from the beaches on this play, even though he's clearly just dragged to the ground by an Orange Bowl player. Um, you know, how they both get coincidentals on this, I have no idea. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Regardless, Orange Bowl's gotta stay out of the box. Finally, last bonehead call of the night from the refs. Scores 6-5, critical moment of the game. Toronto causes a turnover, ensuing fast break, and for whatever reason... This is not called a goal, okay? I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but that has crossed the line and there was no goal called on the play for no reason whatsoever. Like, the refs have to do a better job in these scenarios. That makes the game 6-6 and could potentially change the outcome of the game. All in all, this is a great game one. Orange Bowl comes out on top. Can't wait for the next game today.